I grew up in a family where volunteerism was uh, part and parcel of our routine. So in my humanitarian journey, I've been a volunteer all my life and the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, I wanted to join them because of how special they are because you can be sure that in any situation, the Red Cross or Red Crescent will be there anywhere in the world. The things I've seen are uh, sometimes unspeakable and very painful. There are lots of scars uh, in my memories, uh, seeing people suffer and our failure sometimes as a civilization to just get along. But, um, you know, it's so easy to give up, but it's, uh, it's not the way you solve problems. And I think my greatest source of inspiration and strength is really looking at the work of our volunteers and also seeing the lives of people. We have met women and children and men who have just, you know, just amazed me with their strength and their resilience and their courage. It's life-changing. It's so hard now to go back to to doing something that probably doesn't have that experience anymore. I love what I do, and I think if you can help people to get out of their difficulties, you help the world. We have a really a long partnership with Land Rover, and we started in 1954 with a vehicle fitted to be a health uh, unit. Since 2013, our impact you know, together with Land Rover, we have been able to reach more than 963,000 people around the world. This partnership is so important because the innovation side of things. One of the very exciting projects is Project Hero, to look at how we fit drones onto to vehicles, bringing you know, the best from the humanitarian community with the best from technology and, and this industry. One of the things we share in common with Land Rover is really about how do we make people's lives better and together really build on this partnership to deliver better for people.